What is up guys, my name is Ted and today I have a new video for you. This is a firing range 105 and 6 I think. Um, but I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much. I wanted to talk more about uh, what I've done. Now I've gotten a new mic, as I hope you noticed through the sound quality. I don't have the buzzing in the background. And uh, I shouldn't at least, I haven't actually tried it out yet. But I paid uh, a little bit of money for it so I'm hoping it works a little bit better. Um, another thing you might notice is that I've been recording in 1080p recently. And um, I, what I did was I reinstalled my uh, Windows Live Movie Maker to my computer, and it brought up the option now whenever I click Publish to YouTube, it brought up the option to save it in 1080p, which is ridiculously huge files, and I might actually stop it for that reason. Um, each file that is that was previously about a third of a gigabyte is now a full 1.1, 1 1.2 gigabyte, so much more room is needed on my computer, and I really don't have enough hard drive if I post two or three videos a day to uh, handle that. Nor do I have the internet speed. Um, I don't have the best internet speed to start with, and uploading a gigabyte to YouTube takes sometimes upwards of an hour. So uh, we'll see if I continue with that. The quality looks amazing, so I might, but I might not. We'll have to see. Another thing you'll notice is that um, I, I got a new uh, not uh, video editing program today, and it's Sony Vegas Pro 10.0. I'm just using the trial version right now. I'm still getting used to it. So even though I uploaded my, updated my Windows Live Movie Maker, I'm, I might not use it anymore. It depends if I like this enough. Get panic knifed. I'm not happy about that. Um, but this one, the reason I, I searched for a new program, I was perfectly happy with Windows Live Movie Maker. It really was pretty simple and basic, and I, I enjoy that a lot. But for some reason, when I posted the videos to YouTube, um, as I'm sure you noticed, the, it didn't really fit the screen. Like, there was a perimeter around the videos in the screen, and it didn't actually fit the... Uh, the full screen and that was kind of annoying and it didn't look very good and uh, I think that YouTube's really all about appearance so I'm trying to get my uh, my videos to look a lot better I watched a few videos on YouTube that helped me with uh, Vegas Pro quite a bit one guy was a British guy and he, he informed me on a lot of stuff I can actually sharpen up my videos making the quality look better even though it's really not and I can also get the uh, the contrast a little bit better so everything looks brighter and fuller and color correction to change it from TV quality to computer quality and all these things I really didn't know there was a difference but it looks a lot better on my screen now from when it did previously on Windows Live Movie Maker so that's definitely a huge advantage of this and I hope you all notice the difference I hope you all see the uh, the quality of the videos are getting better and better as I go along also the uh, the mic now like I said I haven't tested it but according to what I read online and from what I've heard from player reviews on YouTube of people that use it, um, it should eliminate all the background noise automatically. So from now on, whenever I do the uh, commentaries, you won't be hearing the ringing and buzzing in the background, which is just either my computer or my fan running. And I was, previously I was recording on a Turtle Beach microphone. Uh, you know the Turtle Beach headset that I have. I was actually using that microphone that I use for Xbox Live Chat to communicate on my commentaries and record it to my computer. So hopefully it won't have that anymore, and also now I won't have to keep moving my mic back from my computer to my television, which was annoying, because it it's not the cordless one, it's actually the X11s, or maybe the X21s, I can't remember, for uh, anyone who cares, and the uh, the quality on it's awful when I'm recording to my computer. When It's it's kind of funny though, whenever I play it on my, on my actual desktop, and the, uh, the quality didn't seem that bad, whenever I watched the... Uh, the videos back and listen to my commentaries. It didn't sound bad until I put it on YouTube, and it sounded awful on YouTube. And I'm not sure why the uh, quality gets worse when you put it on YouTube, but to counter that, I'm basically trying to get the best quality of everything. I'm, tr I'm trying to post great quality. Uh, the videos 1080p, which I think if if anyone knows what this means, it says like 1768 resolution, which is actually better resolution than my TV is. So I'm not sure how I'm recording in, in that resolution, but I guess I am. So. Uh, and the I know that the the quality looks a lot better to me. Um, just and I, I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet, so I'm not sure if YouTube dumbifies it at all. But if they don't, then it should be a lot better when y'all view it uh, next time. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, back on normal subjects, I guess, is the iPhone is coming to Verizon, and I don't know if anyone has Verizon and, and uh, that watches my gameplay or not. But Verizon is a very reliable carrier, and I don't although I don't have them because they're rather expensive. Um, they normally have great cell reception. Um, they're known for having cell reception almost everywhere. Whereas the current T-Mobile, or excuse me, the current iPhone carrier, which is um, AT&T, 
is known for their crappy reception, high prices, and people that are on Verizon are, have been dying to get the iPhone. It's always been rumored that it's going to come out, and they finally released the date. It's going to be February either 10th or 1st. I can't remember what day. I think it's the 10th now that I think about it. They're going to release the iPhone 4 for uh, Verizon uh, customers. However, get this. The price, if you drop your current smartphone, is going to be a to get to upgrade to the iPhone, that is, is going to be $160 plus $10 a month for however many months are left on your two-year uh, down payment, I guess. Because whenever you get a smartphone, originally you have to buy it with a two-year contract, which is basically saying that you're going to hold this phone for two years and pay whatever amount per month to own the phone and get the service together. Well, if you cancel that and jump straight to the iPhone, it's going to cost you, like I said, $160 plus $10 a month left on your subscription. Plus, you're going to have to renew the iPhone subscription being uh, probably 100 bucks a month. If you get the unlimited web, unlimited talk, unlimited text, and so on, which is pretty expensive plan. I don't plan on ever getting it, but uh, I thought that was interesting, though, because I remember AT&T's had basically a monopoly on the iPhone, which, in my opinion, is the best phone in the world right now. And they finally get that broken. Uh, Verizon's finally getting it, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to get it the day it comes out. I'm not really sure why Apple ever stayed with the old iPhone, considering that, um, or excuse me, why Apple ever stayed with just AT&T in America because I know that almost everyone wants the iPhone. Even my granddad's going to buy the iPhone when it comes out for Verizon. And if they had made it not have a monopoly for only AT&T, they could have gotten a lot more money on the previous iPhones, such as the iPhone 3, 3GS, and the original iPhone. I mean, all those things could have made them millions of more money. I'm not sure why they uh, decided to stay, stick with AT&T. The only reason I could think of is AT&T must have given them a buttload of money if they stuck with them. So I can't picture any other reason why. I mean, AT&T is not really one of the bigger brands of phones in the United States. I'm not sure about elsewhere. I don't even know if it is anywhere else, like Great Britain or wherever. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't really know much about phones. If anyone wonders what phone I have, I have the G2, which is T-Mobile, but it's um, it's a Google phone by HTC. And the original G1 I didn't like very much. Um, it was kind of cheaply made. It was plasticky. I, I didn't like the feel of it. But this new phone, the G2 that I have, is um, it's actually completely stainless steel, which is awesome. And what I love most, um, I'm a YouTube addict, and it plays HD YouTube videos like crazy. I mean, crazy good quality. Like, it's better quality on my phone sometimes than it is on my computer. And it can stream them with the 3G. By the way, I'm sorry about this right here. My mom actually brought in McDonald's for me, and I forgot that I was recording it, so I paused the video. But I also had some friends watching the video with me. Whenever I record my videos, I normally get a couple friends, and you can see by the little chat marks in the lobby who's watching my videos with me. But uh, the people that I play with online, they they normally uh, get equally as good videos, and I might start posting some of their gameplay. Um, I might actually do something, if I can ever figure out how to video edit this, I might do um, videos where I show one of my teammates gameplays, and then my gameplay too, as like a split screen almost, but uh, just recording it on two different occasions. And that was epic. We both got no, no scope by this guy that spawned literally five feet in front of us. Took us by surprise that we were too far in their spawn anyways. That was our was our fault. Um, one last topic for today, guys. I've gotten a couple a couple requests, at least, to do dual comms with either random friends on Xbox Live and this one guy. I'm trying to do... I actually asked him because he's a lot more subscribers than I do. Um, I asked him if I could do a dual com with me. He's got about 800 subscribers. And I'm really hoping that I can get my channel out there a little bit. I know I know I have good gameplay. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I, I do think I have good gameplay that, that should have more more than 30 viewers at least. Um, or excuse me, more than 30 subscribers. I normally don't even get 30 views on a video. But uh, I post, I'm post. i trying to post content regularly. Yesterday, I was actually supposed to post this video yesterday, but for some reason my computer screwed up and it stopped working when it was like 65% published. That's why no video came out yesterday, but I might make up for it and put out two videos today. I did this commentary over again because my, um, like I said, I got my mic today, and the old count commentary just sounded awful. I could hear the buzzing and such in the background. I wanted to do a test out my new mic too, so this gives me a good excuse for that. Um, a, pup, a couple people have requested a combat record um, for, you, for my friends on Xbox Live, and also a couple of comments said they want a combat record, so I went ahead and did it. It's on my old mic though. So I might redo it, I might not, depends on how much homework I have tonight. Um, and basically my KDR is around 3, it's hovering around there. Um, I have two accounts, so it's kind of hard to tell. One's like 3.2 and the other's 2.7. So I've posted that, uh, I've posted, or I didn't post it yet, I have that game, or that commentary ready. And I'm sorry about this too, I went to the wrong person. 
I had all kinds of crazy troubles when I was making this video. I was eating McDonald's the whole time though, so you have to forgive me. Um, but like I was saying, I, I, I will have that out either today or tomorrow, depending on how my internet's going today. These videos that are HD sometimes take up to two hours to upload to YouTube, and this one's... How long is this? This is 12 minutes long. And that might take like an hour and a half to put on YouTube, so... But I've been posted, like, a couple of days ago, I posted a 16 minute long commentary. And that one just about used up my internet connection for two, two and a half hours sometimes. And I don't like that because I like playing Xbox. And I don't know how many of my subscribers are of schooling age, but I know that I've got eight hours of school every day, uh, give or take an hour and a half for my early out that I have in the middle of the day. And then I've got basically two or three hours of homework every night. Whether I do it or not is a different story, but theoretically I've got two or three hours of homework every night. And then the rest of it I, I like to just spend doing either commentaries and getting gameplay on, on a, a Xbox for YouTube. And I can't have two of the two of those hours being spent on um, just uploading a video to YouTube. And I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this before, but when you upload to YouTube, your internet connection just goes bye-bye. Like all the, I'm not sure what it's called, like I know for computers it's RAM if you're uploading a program. But I'm not sure what it's called, just basically your internet speed drops to just zero. Because all of your internet speed is being, or internet connection, I'm not sure what it's called, like I said, is being used up by YouTube and getting your video posted. I can't, I can't host lobbies, I can't play at lobbies. I'll just have a one bar if I try to jump into any game, and that's even if I get connected into a game. But generally when I'm not, um, when I'm not uploading to YouTube, I'll have posts. Because I do have a relatively good internet connection now. Granted, I'm from the South, so that's comparing it to other people that live in the South. But... Um, I do have, I think, a 12 megabyte upload speed and a 2 megabyte download speed, or maybe it's vice versa, I'm not, not really sure. I don't really understand the internet speed connection and such stuff too much. Um, I'm not really a computer person, I just try to do what I can. And generally, like for this Sony Vegas program, I just had to look it up on YouTube. Or, yeah, look up videos on YouTube and tutorials. That's the end of the game, guys. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you disliked it, please click the dislike button. I'd love to know y'all guys' feedback. If you want to see any special games, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to post any sort of special gameplay y'all want to see. Um, and that's like it. Like I said, I do post videos, game, uh, excuse me, gameplay videos daily. So I'll have another video out tomorrow. If you like my channel and like what I do, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.